Hello, hello! I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to brew some magic? Well, come on in! Hello, hello! Crossroads witches and other interesting magical beings. Of course, I'm going to say I am excited to be here. I get to shoot a video for you guys. Come on! It actually is the highlight. Uh, I have been using emails, comments, and DMs uh, that folks reach out and ask me questions as some content for upcoming videos. Uh, you've seen where I'm responding to it. Today I am out, the question was, do folkloric folk witches use crystals? Isn't that a new age thing? And I thought about it and I was like, I'm not sure what a new age thing is, first of all. Um, I didn't know that crystals were classified that way. Um, have witches historically used crystals? I don't know. Uh, on some level, I'm going to tell you yes, because witches like rocks. We've always liked rocks. Uh, so yeah, contemporary witchcraft most definitely uses crystals because we now have awareness of it. When you ask me what a witch was doing 500 years ago, I would ask you, where did she live? Or where did they live? Uh, because they would be using what was in their area. So what one practitioner is using on one side of the mountain would not be what's the other on the other side of the mountain. So as a folk witch, uh, how do I feel about crystals? Uh, as you can tell by my crystal collection, my amethyst over here, I love them. Um, I also think that uh, there is scientific basis for use of crystals. They have vibrations. And as knowing that the, the spirit of is within everything, then there's a spirit within these as well. All right. I love my natural quartz crystal points. I have two, well, I actually have a whole box, to be honest with you. Over the years, I've collected them. Um, they're beautiful. I use them on my altar. I use them when I'm doing workings. I like making uh, crystal grids, if you're not familiar with uh, uh, using different crystals, putting them together and, and making a... Uh, good energy with it all right i will use tumbled stones these are some of my tumbled stones let's uh mulvite uh agate and amethyst i think are what these are uh i will put them in bags i will sit them out around the house in various combinations I put them in pretty little bowls and then we'll sit them places around my house to change the energies. Uh, selenite. I really like selenite. It has such a beautiful, pure cleansing energy to it. I like having a piece of selenite on my altar. Uh, a lot of times if I'm doing cleansing type work, I will start waving my selenite around. I really, really enjoy it. All right. Uh, we have to be careful with, I think the one thing I thought about when I got this question was, was putting folk magic or putting anything in a box. Um, because I'm a folk witch, I can't do this. Or because I'm a folk witch, I have to do this. I don't like that at all. I, I don't think that... That's the, the spirit of magic, the spirit of divinity, the spirit of us. Uh, it's our own personal connections. What makes sense to me personally may not make sense to you. All of these stones I just picked up, you may be like, well, my favorite stone, you know, is this. And that's what it is about, is using things that make sense to you. All right. I love working with stones, rocks. I will find rocks out when I'm on a trail. I have another collection over in my other room that's got some of those rocks. 
I have piles of rocks outside. They all have a, an energetic signature and they all have meaning to me and I connect to them. And so I use rocks, crystals, stones. I use them raw, I use them tumbled. If it feels right, for me, it's really about the each individual stone. If it feels good, then I'll use it. If it doesn't feel good, I don't use it. All right. So I hope this answers your question. Thank you so much. If I, um, what was, um, Angela, uh, I think it's, it's her name. Thank you for asking me the question. I hope this answers it and everything else. And I hope the rest of you enjoyed the video. With that said, get out and have a bright, blessed day. And as always, amen, bless be, ashe, and a bubble.